Dr. Nadal, we're here at ASCO. What are some of the buzz items that you've been hearing? There are several. <laughs> um, similar to last year, we see um, a lot of conversation around genomics. I would characterize that as being um, more robust this year. Almost all of the talks I'm seeing this year have a component of genomics or, or they are addressing genomics in some way. We're seeing a lot of clinical trials demonstrating positive outcomes uh, for genomic targeted therapies. Um, likewise, the theme of immunotherapy, again, continues to dominate the, the conference, which is exciting. Immunotherapies and genomic targeted therapies, I think, represent the two most significant paradigm shifts we've seen in a decade and uh, it's impacting patients' lives. So on the immunotherapy front, we're seeing uh, more and more cancer subtypes that are responsive to this type of approach, which is exciting for patients and, and providers alike. Right. Um, we're seeing uh, durable outcomes. So it's not just that we're getting an initial response, but we're seeing prolonged outcomes with these types of therapies. That's really exciting. Um, and then I think a third theme really is this data sharing concept. Um, ASCO itself is announcing a, a data sharing opportunity. Um, the National Cancer Institute uh, is promoting this. Of course, uh, the White House moonshot yep. effort through Vice right. President Biden is promoting this. Um, we talked before about our own uh, data sharing network, the open network, which I think is the first example of a functional a multi-institutional data sharing effort, and so that's really that's exciting. Um, so that's, I think, yet another theme that is emerging from this year's conference.